Have you ever been through the North Sea? The North Sea has a reputation for being harsh and hazardous, despite its natural beauty and commercial importance. Have you ever wondered why crossing the North Sea is considered dangerous and what mysteries it hides that make it different from other seas? Several elements, including its busy maritime traffic, industrial activity, and extreme weather, contribute to its dangerous nature. This video goes into more detail about the North Sea's hazard classification by considering multiple factors. The North Sea is located in northwestern Europe, between the shores of Norway and Denmark, to the northeast, Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium and France to the southeast, and the United Kingdom to the west and northwest. It is an arm of the Atlantic Ocean, covering approximately 570,000 square kilometers or 220,000 square miles. The North Sea is a vital body of water for the countries that surround it, supporting a variety of businesses, including fishing, shipping, oil and gas production, and tourism. Because of its excellent location, it has long been a center for trade and maritime activity, with booming ports like Aberdeen, Hamburg and Rotterdam serving as key routes for global trade. However, the North Sea's marine environment is not without challenges. Its unpredictable weather patterns, which frequently bring powerful storms and choppy waves, pose significant threats to the maritime and offshore industries. Regional Characteristics The geographical features of the North Sea play a significant role in how dangerous people think it is. It is called a sea, but compared to other areas of water, it is not very deep. The average depth is about 95 meters or 310 feet. Because the water isn't very deep, even light winds can cause big waves, which makes it dangerous for ships, particularly those that are smaller. The North Sea is additionally renowned for having weather that changes quickly. Throughout the year, it has a lot of rains, strong winds and dangerous waters. The weather can change quickly, which can catch sailors and people who work on the water off guard. Storms that start in the Atlantic Ocean often move throughout the North Sea, bringing strong winds and huge waves that put ships and offshore sites at great risk. The North Sea is hard to navigate because there are so many sandbanks, shoals, and submerged shipwrecks. It can be difficult to see these risks, especially when the weather is bad and vision is poor. Even with current technology and tools for navigation, there is always a chance of going into trouble or hitting something underwater. weather-related difficulties. The North Sea's harsh weather conditions contribute significantly to its reputation for being dangerous. Because of its oceanic climate, this area has warm temperatures, high humidity, and a lot of rain. But it's the storms and strong winds that make the North Sea's climate patterns unique. When it storms, the North Sea is known for having gale force winds that can reach more than 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour. These strong winds make big waves that can get up to a few meters high, which is very dangerous for ships and other maritime activities. When there are strong winds and rough seas, boats can flip over, sink, or get serious damage, especially if they aren't well prepared or ready to handle the circumstances. Storm surges are another weather event that happens a lot in the North Sea. They add to the dangers, especially along the low-lying coasts. Strong winds and low air pressure caused ocean water to pile up close to the coast and make the water level rise above normal, resulting in a storm surge. In coastal areas, these surges can cause flooding, erosion and flooding, which can be dangerous to people and property.
environmental issues, pollution and environmental deterioration are major challenges to the delicate ecosystem of the North Sea. Chemical pollutants, untreated sewage and industrial waste have contaminated its waters, leading to declining marine biodiversity, habitat degradation and problems with water quality. Oil spills can have catastrophic consequences for marine life, coastal ecosystems and the local economy regardless of the cause. Maritime mishaps or offshore drilling operations, abandoned plastics washing up on beaches and building up in the water column present issues relating to marine litter and plastic pollution in the North Sea. Plastic waste poses hazards to wildlife and human health because it can choke seabirds, entangle marine animals and pollute the food chain. Fog and poor visibility. The North Sea often gets foggy, especially at certain times of the year or when the weather is bad. Fog can make it very hard to see, which makes it hard for ships to navigate properly and for naval operators to spot possible dangers like other ships, navigational markers, or things in the water. Accidents such as crashes, groundings, and other problems are more likely to occur when visibility is low, especially in shipping lanes or other areas with a lot of maritime traffic. Human activities. Several human activities in the North Sea make it seem dangerous. Offshore platforms and installations support oil and gas exploration and production. These facilities are essential for energy production, but can cause oil spills, gas leaks, and industrial mishaps. Heavy machinery, volatile compounds, and combustible materials on floating docks enhance the risk of accidents that harm people and the environment. Thousands of ships pass across the North Sea each year. Cargo ships, ferries, fishing boats, and tourism vessels navigate restricted channels, busy maritime routes, and congested ports in the North Sea. High marine traffic raises the risk of accidents, groundings and other incidents, especially in bad visibility or weather. Companies from several nations fish the North Sea's vast marine resources. Commercial fishing is competitive, overfishing and unsustainable, raising concerns about North Sea fish species' long-term health. Decreasing fish populations can damage marine ecosystems and fishing-dependent livelihoods, worsening coastal economic and social issues. Cold water temperatures. The North Sea has cold water temperatures all year, even in the summer. Cold water exposure can result in serious injuries if someone falls overboard or remains in the water for an extended period of time. Hypothermia can happen quickly in cold water, affecting your ability to think clearly, move smoothly and stay alive. This can make it hard to survive without the right safety gear and quick recovery efforts. limited search and rescue resources. Even though there is a lot of shipping in the North Sea, search and rescue tools may not be available everywhere, especially in remote or offshore areas. Because of bad weather, rough seas, and the size of the North Sea, it can be hard to respond to situations at sea. Response times that are too slow can make maritime accidents and situations more dangerous. This shows how important it is for everyone involved in the maritime industry to be ready, communicate, and work together. Underwater currents and tidal forces. Strong undersea currents and tides in the North Sea are particularly prevalent where they converge or flow through narrow channels. These currents can change ship's speed and direction, making sailing harder, especially for sailors who aren't used to it 
or aren't ready. Tidal ranges in the North Sea can change significantly, causing water levels and currents to change quickly. This can catch sailors off guard if they don't plan their routes and sail correctly. Navigational challenges. Pay close attention to navigational charts, electronic guidance systems, and maritime rules when you're in the North Sea. Moving sandbanks, underwater wrecks, and navigational markers make it harder to plan routes and operate boats. Fog, mist, or rain that makes it hard to see makes navigation even more difficult and raises the risk of accidents, anchorages, and other marine accidents. Isolation and remote locations. Some parts of the North Sea, particularly those farther out to sea or in remote places, may be cut off from the rest of the world for long periods of time. Companies often place floating platforms, oil rigging, and unmanned installations far from shore. This makes it difficult to seek help and get people out if there is an accident or incident. Remote areas can make it difficult to access people medical services and supplies, exacerbating the risks of offshore operations and exploration. Ice formation. In the North Sea, particularly near the northernmost parts, ice may form in some places during the cooler months, especially winter. Icebergs, ice flows and sea ice can be very dangerous for ships, especially smaller ones or ones that aren't prepared to work in icy conditions. When ice builds up on the top of a ship, it can make it less stable, less able to turn, and slower to move. This makes accidents, damage, or loss of control more likely. In the end, the North Sea has a good reputation for being an extremely hazardous piece of ocean. This is because it poses many natural and man-made hazards. People who go out into the North Sea face a lot of problems. It's shallow depths, unpredictable weather, heavy marine traffic, and industrial activities make it a very dangerous place to be. Reducing some of these risks involves making navigation safer, following safety rules, and taking better care of the environment. However, the North Sea is still a dangerous and unforgiving place that needs respect, care, and careful management to keep everyone who uses its resources and travels through its waters safe. What's your opinion about the North Sea? Please share your opinions in the comments section. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.